So here we have the Acaso 4K Ultra HD EK7000 sports action camera. Looks great. Let's get it out of the case. Oh. Right, what else have we got here then? Camera, waterproof case, standoff, a wrist remote, very nice. Another standoff, another standoff, bracket to slide into the brackets that stick on to helmets and skateboards and things. Another bracket to slide into the mounts, battery, packed separately, skeleton case with tripod mount, tripod mount, top and bottom, backpack clip that will slide into the skeleton case so that you can clip it on a harness or chin guard or flying helmet or whatever. I like those. I think that's a useful bit of kit because not everybody wants to use one underwater. A couple of mounts here, the stick-on mounts and the ventilated back for the waterproof case. USB charging cable, strap for the wrist remote, Velcro strap obviously, manual for the camera, handlebar mount, straps for fixing this to the top of a cycle helmet or whatever and a little leaflet offering me free gifts. Manual for the remote which is quite straightforward I've seen these before just a question of pressing a button take a take a video or take a picture. Some cable ties and a little stainless steel loop for securing the camera. Lens cleaning cloth, a couple of tripod mounts one male and one female and another mounting screw that obviously fits inside these kind of mounts. Right, doesn't come with a card obviously, generally speaking best to use class 10 and a good brand especially as this is a 4k camera. So let's get it on charge and then we can take a closer look. Oh, let's see it might have two batteries, let's see if it's a battery in here. Yes actually two batteries, got a battery inside there as well. Right let's get it on charge and take a closer look. I'll come back in a minute. Right, well I've got it plugged in and charging. You can see there's a blue light on the front and according to the manual, once the light goes out that's fully charged. And I've turned it off, they usually charge quicker if they're turned off. Right, see you in a bit. Right, the Acasa EK7000 4K action camera, let's take a closer look. We've got the power button on the front here with an LED that shows blue when it's charging and goes off once it's fully charged. You've got a 170 degree wide angle lens and of course the power button used in conjunction with the up down scrolling buttons and the shutter let you navigate the menu. On this end you've got micro USB for charging and retrieving your files. You've got micro HDMI and you've got the microcard slot. Doesn't come with a card. I always use a class 10, good brand. This is SanDisk 32 gig. Tests I did, initial tests I've done, an hour and 10 minutes was about 11 gig. So bearing in mind you've got two batteries, you really need a 32 gig card if you want to make full use of this. Card goes in, logo side to the screen just with a little push like that. On the top you've got the shutter release and another LED. This is a red one that flashes when it's recording. On this end you've got the buttons that let you scroll up and down through the menu and of course the battery compartment in the bottom here. As I mentioned it comes with two batteries so they say an hour and a half I think recording time. More like an hour and a quarter I got but easy enough to slip the battery in there. And on the back here you've got a two inch screen. So let's turn it on. Press the button for a couple of seconds. It does a little squeak. And here we are, we've got the screen. Nice bright screen. Battery state indicator there. Capacity of the card at 1080 60 there. And that will be when I press the shutter button. The video counting down. 
It's also showing the date time there, which I haven't bothered to set. As I say, you've got a red flashing light on the top. First video I've shot was around out and about on my motorcycle, and I could easily see that flashing while it was in the case. You can see the reflection of it in the transparent plastic of the case. Right, so stop video, just press the button. Short press of the mode button. I'm in camera mode, and as you can see, I've got capacity there for 3562 images at 12 meg. Uh, couldn't find out what sensor this has got, but I was very impressed with the first results of this. Very sharp image and great colours. So, obviously press the button, you've taken a still, there's a little click there, shutter sound, click, click. Another short press of the button. I'm in burst photo mode. Taken a series of pictures, taken six there. Another short press. I'm in countdown mode. Another short press, I'm in the settings menu. I've seen this menu before, so maybe it's some generic software that manufacturers are using but um, very easy to use, doesn't take long to get through this. So first item in the settings, video resolution. As you can see, we've got 4K at 25, and it was a genuine 25 frames a second, 2.7 at 30, 1080 at 30, 1080 at 60, genuine 60, and so on. I tend to use 1080 at 60 for action sports. So if I want that one, select it, using the scrolling buttons. Press the shutter release and you're in that setting. Right, scroll down, looping video, which will be for car cam use. Incidentally, I often get asked for some night footage, so I actually went out last night on the motorcycle and got some footage in the dark for those people that wanted it. Timestamp, on or off, you'll see on my motorcycle ones I left it on. I think I'll turn it off now, so scroll up, turn it off. Exposure, changes the exposure value, photo resolution, burst photos, time lapse. As far as I can see, this doesn't actually produce a time lapse movie as a finished movie, as some do. If you select this, say on the three second setting, come out of that now by going, scrolling through till I get the X come out of it. If I now select that one with the little timer on it and press the shutter, it's counting down and taking one shot after three seconds. If I just go back into the menu again, continuous lapse, if I turn that on, Scroll down so that I'm in the X. You'll see if I now go to the timer one. It will take a series of photographs at three second at a three second interval. So basically, if you wanted to turn that into a time-lapse movie, you'd have to take the periodic photographs and stitch them together in a edit suite, which is not too difficult. Right, so come out of that. Back to where we were in the settings menu. So you've got time-lapse, continuous lapse, and power frequency, which will obviously be set according to which region you're in. Language, date time, sound indicator, shutter, shutter beep, volume. Ah, good, you can turn it up a bit. Right, I'll turn it up. Ah, it was on max at three. Upside down, obviously, if you want to use it in a car, for car cam use.
screensaver, power saver. The screensaver is basically how quickly the screen goes off as a power saving thingy. Power saver is also the same thing, it auto shut down when it's not in use. And so on. Version, couldn't find any information on the manufacturer. That does look very familiar to me. H9, I think it might be the same as the Econ H9, which was a, also a very good camera. A couple of other things, press the up button here and you're in playback mode for stills or movies. And press the down button and you've turned on the Wi-Fi connection. And turn it off. Short press of the button. So nice and easy to operate. All round. Feels very nice. Pretty much the same size as the SJ cam. And as I discovered, the accessories seem to be GoPro compatible as far as brackets and mounts and so on. Right, we'll take a look at the Wi-Fi app. I almost forgot to mention that it comes complete with this great little wrist remote, which would probably be about an extra £10 for other cameras. No pairings needed, just turn the camera on and press the button on the remote. If you press the button with the video symbol, beep, 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 starts video recording. Press the button again, you stop. Press the camera icon and it immediately switches to camera mode and takes a still. Likewise if, you, if you're in camera mode press the video icon and it goes straight into video and starts recording. So a very useful bit of kit. Right let's have a look at the Wi-Fi app. Right, first thing you've got to do is scan the QR code on the box and install EasyCam already in my phone. Turn the Wi-Fi on, so turn it on. Give it a minute or two, and then you've got to press the down button twice, waiting for connection. Turn the Wi-Fi on on your device. iCam, no internet, won't connect it automatically. H9R it says. Connecting, connected, no internet. Right, now I always get this pop-up. Do you really want to connect to that? It's got no internet connection. Yes, I do. So with a bit of luck, this might work now. As cam. I'll give it a minute or two to settle down. H9R. And there it is, connected. As you can see, here it is, looking around. Okay, as you can also see, you can stop start recording. Light is flashing on the camera. Makes a nice little bing noise. You can take still. tells you the state of the battery that I'm in 12 megapixel automatic white balance change settings doesn't look like you can change many settings power app product name and what's this one you can download to your phone and so on so all in all good bit of kit if you're out and about somewhere and you've got a decent tablet you can review your videos while you're sat by the riverside next to your kayak or while you're in a field somewhere with your paraglider or surf kite or whatever you do you know not in a field with a surf kite you know what I mean so good little app just the job about time we looked at some test clips I think
this is the famous Stan and his workshop. And he's building another masterpiece here. Well, hello again. Right, the Acaso EK7000 action camera. I must say, I was very impressed with the results I got from this camera, especially bearing in mind it's currently priced at around the £50 mark. Not only do you get 
a wrist remote which would probably be a £10 extra with most other action cameras. Extra battery which gives you probably up to two and a half, three hours recording time. Waterproof case, loads of accessories. But you get really good video. Um, it will record in 4K at 24 frames a second, 1080 at 60, 1080 at 30. And I was impressed with the colours, sharpness and overall quality of the video. Very surprised in fact. Also has a very useful Wi-Fi app so that you can check your video while you're out and about. So get out there and get shooting some action video. If you're looking for a budget action camera, this is the way to go. A couple of things. I get loads of people asking me on YouTube, which camera should I buy? And there are a lot of cameras out there. Well, that's the choice you have to make. I get people saying, please, please, please tell me what camera to buy. You have to look at it yourself, but I don't think you go far wrong with this one. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.